Not everyone watches television in the same way. Some people watch especially carefully because they're reading what other folks hear. Tyler explains. This is the Western Pennsylvania School for the Deaf. Students have been coming here for a first class education ever since 1869. A lot has certainly changed since then. Imagine at that time the students came here, horse, buggy, trains, they didn't have cars. Now we have computers, pagers, video phones. Uh, it's incredible. Just a huge difference. One of the biggest differences comes from using technology to turn audio into video. The process is called closed captioning. It enables the deaf to listen with their eyes when they watch TV. Instead of hearing the words, they're reading them. Here in school, we want to know what's going on in the world. We can watch the TVs here because it's on all day and they have captionings for us to see. The government requires most broadcast and cable programs to be available with captions. Most TVs today come equipped for closed captioning. You just need to press a button on set or remote. Captioning serves between 1 in 10 Americans. Approximately 30 million people use captioning who are hard of hearing or deaf. Vitac is a company that adds closed captioning to all kinds of programs, including Team Kids News. Their biggest challenge is live events, like breaking news and sports. The people who turn the audio as it's happening into captions have years of specialized training. You're going to have to be able to caption at approximately 240 to 250 words a minute, which is extremely fast, so they're normally the top people in their class. The captioners use special keyboards to put words on the screen, with hardly a moment's delay. Technology also helps by providing some typing shortcuts. If you're doing local news or international news or world news, you would, of course, read the headlines for the day. You would input the names and the spellings of all the people mentioned in the news for that day. And those names would be in there for the next time that you go for that stroke on your keyboard. It's going to translate correctly. All the hard work is appreciated. I watch the news and read the caption. It makes me feel proud and great. You know, with the, with the caption, I can, I can do it myself. I'm, I'm independent. And you know, without it, you'd have to depend on hearing people a lot more. At the Western Pennsylvania School for the Deaf, closed captioning is a key part of the programming on the campus TV station. For each of our programs, we include signing, captioning, and voice interpreting. You know, maybe it'll influence hearing people or even hard of hearing. Maybe they'll become fast and they want to learn more about that and help them learn and want to use our language too. She's on to something. Closed captioning is also a useful tool for people trying to learn a new language.